Hey everybody, I'm Caleb. Welcome to The Daily Devo. We're in our wisdom series where we're looking at some key verses from the book of Proverbs. And today's verse is Proverbs 6.6, 6, which reads, Go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. That's the ESV, but I like the NLT. It says, take a lesson from the ants, you lazy bones. Learn from their ways and become wise. I grew up in a rural Missouri farm town called New Haven and spent my days as a kid building tree forts and catching tadpoles and just being a kid. And I remember specifically whenever I would see an anthill as a boy, I, I, of course, I'd just go and destroy it. I'd pour water on it or scuff it with my foot. And I remember one specific time my mom was with me and I saw an anthill and I went to wipe it out and she stopped me and she began explaining the work that went into creating that anthill. How diligently ants work together to create their homes. And even as a boy, that stuck with me. Well, with the help of Google, I brushed up on some ant statistics earlier today and the average ant can carry between 10 and 50 times its own body weight and run at 300 meters an hour, which is a rate of nearly 800 times its body length in a single minute. This is equivalent to a human, are you ready for this? Carrying up to five tons while running at speeds of 52 miles per hour. Consider the ant, learn from her and become wise. My mom also had a slate hanging up in our kitchen as a kid that said, uh, it was Ecclesiastes 9.10, it said, Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. And I think that's the sentiment that Solomon is getting at in our verse of the day here. Each of us have been given resources, namely our time, our energy, and our money. And wisdom would ask, how are we leveraging those resources for the kingdom of God? Jesus talked a lot about eternal rewards when he was on the earth. He talked about how we can store up treasures in heaven. Paul warns us in 1 Corinthians 3 about what materials we are using to build our life with. Will what you're spending your resources on last into eternity? Or are you going to enter eternity as one escaping through flames, as 1 Corinthians 3 says? Meaning you'll make it to heaven because of your faith in Jesus, but everything you lived for and built here in this life will be destroyed. What we do in this life with our time, our energy, and our money will have dramatic effect on our experience in the age to come. When we're faithful with a little, we'll be put in charge of much. Friends, let's ask God today for clarity in our life, for laser focus, and for grace to not waste what he's given us. Consider the ant, learn from her, and be wise.